If you are developing for the MetaQuest devices, then you can test your VR or MR scene directly onto your headset from the Unity editor. Now this will save you a lot of development time as you don't have to build it every single time. Now to set this up, we need the MetaQuest Link software. Before we get it, I would highly recommend you to check out the minimum Windows PC requirements just to make sure it will work on your machine. Unfortunately, we don't have this software for the Apple devices yet. To download this software, you can simply Google for MetaQuest link, visit their website and click on download software. Once you have it downloaded, go ahead and install it and wait for it to open. Then click on settings, go inside general settings and enable unknown sources. We need to set the MetaQuest link as the active OpenXR runtime. If it has already been set, then this button gets grayed out. If not, click on it. Then go inside beta settings and enable developer runtime features, enable pass through over MetaQuest link. If you're using the MetaQuest Pro devices, then you might want to enable eye tracking and natural face expression. If you're developing for a local multiplayer game, then you can enable share point cloud data over MetaQuest link. And if you're building a mixed reality experience, then make sure to enable this to share your scene model. Then click on devices, click on add headset. Choose the headset that you would like to add and click on continue. Here you'll get two options to either use the link cable or use AirLink which is using Wi-Fi. I personally prefer using AirLink because it gives you unrestricted movement. However, there are times when my headset battery is low and that's when I choose the link cable. First I'll show you how to set up using link then I'll show you the AirLink setup as well. So click on link cable and click on continue. Next, connect your headset using the USB cable and once your cable is detected, click on continue and click on continue once again. And that's it. You have set up the link. So click on close and now go inside your headset. Click on quick settings. Here you can see the option of quest link. Click on that. Here you can see your PC and click on launch. And this will take you inside your link environment. Once you're here, you can take off your headset and then go inside your Unity project. Go inside file, build settings, player settings, select XR plugin management. Select the PC window and here make sure that you have selected either Oculus or OpenXR based on the SDK that you are using. Then close this window and click on play. And as you can see here, I am able to play the scene directly from the Unity editor onto my headset. And now to connect with AirLink, select AirLink Wireless, click on continue. Put on your headset, click on quick settings, click on quest link and enable use air link. Now this will give you a list of all the devices that have the meta quest link app and are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Select the laptop that you're currently using and click on pair. Then in your link software, make sure the pin number is same as the one in your headset and click on pair. Once that's done, go back into your headset, select the PC and click on launch. And now if you press play from the Unity editor, you will be able to test it directly onto your headset without any cable. Alright, so that's it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.